Hello, welcome back. In this vlog, I get some new prints. I start a new painting. Whee! And I decide to put Icarus's sister up for sale in my shop, even though she means an awful lot to me. Yeah, so, hmm. hope you like that. And after having a little chat with you lovely lot, I turn some negative news into a big win. Just had my brekkie and the post is been and I've just got my order from Printwork and I'm thrilled with the quality. They do such a good job, honestly, and the paper is this lovely smooth, kind of like semi-matte, really good weight, as you can probably hear. And the detail that comes out, uh, this print is a combination of my actual painting and then some digital manipulation. Like I really like, um, for example, that where edges don't quite meet up. I was always obsessed with that with a kid, you know, when you got magazines and the colour didn't quite meet up. Magazines like Jackie and stuff like that. Um, and... Uh, and just being able to add some extra detail with the digital. Um, but the colours are absolutely bob on. Honestly, I can't, I, well, this isn't an advert. I'm not sponsored or anything, but honestly, if you're in the UK, I cannot recommend them highly enough. Oh, so happy, so happy with those. Daughter's back from uni for Easter. Oh, are you working hard, Lottie? She's working hard. And I'm just about to start a new painting. Lord knows what it will be. Just realised I can't hold the camera in my painting hand. <laughs> this is the bits I love. This is the party stage of the painting. I've knocked back what I did. I hated it. Now I'm going whoop whoop and um, painting, not knowing what I'm painting. Happy days. I love destroying what I built up before. So Friday, I built loads of layers up, completely rubbed them back. And now just pushing paint around. Oh, it's pure happiness. Absolutely pure happiness. God knows what I'm doing, but it's fun. <laughs> Hope you're all having a fun morning too. Bye. Well, I've just had about 20 minutes happily, happily flinging paint around. And this is... The layer that I'm left with. Quite, I quite like that actually, because there's some quite nice contrasts and the textures of the previous layers. This is what I'm building up really. Just kind of like hidden layers, hidden depths. Um, because even if 90% of it's covered up, it's still there and you get a kind of glow, I think anyway. I'm probably, well, you know, I'm gibbering. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. Quite liked some of these soft areas and some of these might stay. I don't know, because I don't know what I'm going to paint. But anyway, mm, it's kind of like a face. Maybe a bit of a nose. Is something coming through? Or am I trying to find something too early? I don't know. Um, cup of tea time. And I'll come back to it in a bit.
morning. Oh, that one's a bit bad. Morning. Um, I've decided to put this painting in my shop. So I'm going to photograph it this morning. Um, I've, I've got to... I've got to make room really because I've been doing a lot of new paintings. This one's I think about a couple of years old um, and I've hung on to it um, because she means quite a lot to me but it's time. It's time that maybe I offer it um, and it's called Icarus's Sister um, and it's quite large and it's a, it's a nice deep edged wooden panel so doesn't well I don't think it needs framing could be framed but it can hang straight on the wall and it comes with like a little story so but I've written it on the back so I'm just going to read it off the back if you don't mind excuse me um Icarus's sister if the sister of Icarus had to choose between the height of day or the depth of night then she would choose the moon because the moon's kiss is kinder than the sun's burning light. Yeah, so, hmm. hope you like that. Uh, I really enjoyed painting her. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna photograph her, measure her up and pop her in the shop this morning. So I've just set it up here as well. I really like using these flowers. I love that acid yellow. It seems to go with quite a lot of the palette, you know, the colors that I like using. And, uh, this uh, panel I've just gessoed, I've not used yet, and that's been really handy for bouncing the shadow back. I want a little bit of shadow because I want it to look 3D, but it was a bit dark. So that's, uh, yeah, it's dead handy, that. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to take a few photos and then I'm going to list it in the shop. Just gone into the studio and I've planned for this to be where she's holding a horse mask but the more I look at it I'm wondering if it should be a horse behind her oh. <laughs> I don't know now I might do a bit of scribbling and see what I think oh dear Today I've now decided, because I've got lots of paintings, that I'm going to wrap them up, protect them from the dust and bits and bobs, and store them away. So I'm going to store them under my desk here, which I think is the perfect hidey hole. And then I'm going to start again. I'm going to reach the edge of my studio, I'll wrap and store them, and then I'm going to review my paintings but I think I need to clear the decks um, and I'm ready to start a new painting I think I think this one's nearly finished is she finished I don't know just thought I'd pop on um, like I've said before I wanted to keep this vlog like a diary of kind of like successes um, I don't like to use the f word failure but the failures um just so i can kind of keep a track of what's going on and um in the past 10 days i've had two rejections from the two competitions that i entered and yeah you feel a bit gutted but actually i think i'm i feel i feel more proud that i've actually entered them because it's been years since since i've actually put anything out to enter so I'm, I'm pleased I've done that and I think what I'm going to do in the next couple of weeks is to look through any other things that are coming up in the future this year um, and yeah I mean you may as well go for it haven't you I mean yeah you lose the entry fee but I think it's worth it and I think it's worth the experience um, also, part of me is thinking, whew, I don't have to panic about framing. <laughs> is that really bad to admit? 
That sounds really lazy, doesn't it? But I must admit, in the back of your mind, you'd be like, well, I don't know. I, I know I, I would be like, woohoo, if you got accepted and have about 30 seconds excitement and then instantly, oh my God, how do I get it framed? How do I post it? I don't, yeah, I know what my brain works like. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to call it a win. I'm going to call it a win. <laughs> oh God, that's shameful, isn't it? Anyway, uh, yeah, so I was going to say, if any of you uh, know of any good art competitions uh, for the UK, um, you know, any that you think might suit my work, I'd really appreciate if you put it in the comments. Thank you. I'm going to have a look around. Um, but thanks for that. But um, you see, I feel better already. So thanks for that chat. I've convinced myself now. It's a major win. I don't have to panic about anything. <laughs> Just wrapping an order this morning. And um, oh, do you know, it makes me so happy when when an order kind of goes together. So... Um, I've got the affirmation and intention setting card deck with the zine and actually the thank you card that I always send um, with an order is taken from that deck. So I was just admiring it thinking, oh, don't it all go together? <laughs> but honestly, um, I, I can't actually remember how long I've had my shop, but I always, always, I just absolutely love wrapping wrapping orders putting them all together thinking about where they're going and that never ever gets old so yeah in my happy place <laughs> Well, thanks ever so much for watching. If you've made it this far, you deserve one of these. I also want to say thanks ever so much for everyone. I've, I've had so many lovely comments and I've had quite a few new subscribers. So if you're new over here, thanks ever so much. Thanks for popping over. And if you've been here lots and lots of times, then huge thank you. Um, it really means a lot and uh, I'll post another vlog soon. See ya, bye. You've made it this far. You deserve one of these. Bloody car going past. Well, thanks ever so much for what now. Oh. Well, thanks oh, now. Well, thanks ever so much for watching. If you've made it this far, you deserve one of these. Bloody car again. Bloody Piccadilly Circus. Well, thanks ever so much for watching. If you've made it this far, you do. Grand Prix outside. Well, thanks ever so... Oh dear, I can't say it like that. Well.